Hey guys, here with a finds video of my last couple days that I've got in the mail. Uh, I've got six different packages I got. Five were trades, one was an eBay purchase. So the first one I got is from Vic032. Traded for these couple sweet crack ups. I've never seen a carded one before, at least in person. The cards are huge. Compare them to a regular card, they're a lot bigger. They're actually two different ca cars, the bumper thumper and the back biter. When you collide something with the back, this will, the piece of metal will, or the tailgate will spin around, and that's what you'll see, and the camper top will pop up. They're both on really good cards for 1985. This one's even unpunched. Very cool there. Also in that trade was this El Camino Air. It's completely missing the interior and motor piece, which in this casting is quite a chunk of plastic. <laughs> I really like missing parts here, so very happy to have that. Next trade was from see, Hot Crazy with two E's. Traded for the VW Fastback Decades, which I'm sure I won't see here in Rochester for at least a few more weeks. We still got probably a dozen of the older cases yet on the pegs and nobody's buying them. So finally got one of those and threw in a short card Mustang regular hunt. While we're at it, pop this one open. Since it's not on the best card, so we might as well open her up. Hopefully I can get a hold of a few more of these in town so I can do some customs on. So anyways, I'll put that in my VW case over here once the video is over. Next one was from One Fat Man. Got a reversed wheels show off from the RLC Rewards series. I noticed a lot of these are the mainline ones. They have either whether it's a show or the, the Roger Dodger. Is that what I'm thinking? Anyways, I know that one has a lot of reversed wheels I see, but I haven't seen this one with reversed wheels, so it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a Red Lion Club car, 5,754 of them made. Who knows, this might even be the only one. Another cool air to add to the collection. Next box was from Ford99. I've got another package from him coming in a trade, so that'll probably be my next video. I've got the VW Fastback mail-in here, which back in 09 I did mail-in for this, but of course I traded it off and I wish I didn't. Got a hold of one of those and the VW Gia from the 2007 Selection Series. These though I think I'm gonna leave in the card. They look nice loose, but I really like the card design on these, so I think these are going to stay in the card, in the keepers, probably put them somewhere over here. <laughs> Anyways, last trade I got was from Michael M. Zarb. I traded my Super Chevelle from this year for this. This is also something I'll probably keep carded. I was looking at this and I didn't notice this until I just got it. There's a little elastic band that holds it together so it doesn't flop around in the package, which is actually a pretty smart idea. You know, like on this one, the fastbacks, they don't have that. I don't know if there has been any fastbacks with the elastic band around them or not. Um, like the Grand National from the, I think the Decades has it. I know the Hot Ones has a little elastic band around the hood with the Grand National. It's a good idea. Either way, Great job done on this T1. Got the VW sign painted, the lights, great choice in the wheels, very well detailed. And my last was an eBay purchase. This lovely little Lesney here. Now, usually you see these and they just, all they are is the pickup. 
no attachment or house or anything. This one's got you know, one or two flea bites on it. But the base is nice and shiny. Number 60, the Sight Hut Truck. Add that to my small collection of Lesney's and Redline era cars. So anyways, that's what I got for now. I'll probably have another video coming up in the next couple days, I'm sure. Oh, and I forgot one last thing. This one wasn't exactly the, uh... Well, I got this off eBay. It was the 2009 Larry's Garage set. I got it for an absolute steal. After going round and round with the seller, you know, messaging, and then he didn't want to sell it to me because it went for such a cheap price, and yada, yada, yada. He finally shipped it to me, and which was been about a month. And so I got it today, or the other day. It's, you know, I mean, it's a kind of an odd shape, so, you know, I'm sh you know, can't really find a box for it. So, you know, it's whatever. I mean, you put a magazine on the end, so that's protected. Here's the problem. You get to the end. What about over here? Um, huh. Even though he let me know that he did this after he shipped it, I'm not happy about it. Why would you tape directly onto the box? You know, I could probably take Goo Gone or something to this. He said he's going to refund me my money for all the trouble I've gone through with him and and now this. I mean, he could have taken a couple pages from that magazine here, put them over here instead of taping directly onto the set. So hopefully I can carefully get this tape off with Goo Gone or something. Minimal damage to the box. Anyways, let you know later. Thanks for the view. Have a good night.